So welcome back to our programming classes. And now we shall concern ourselves with selection. Uh, selection in programming is the power of computer to perform one instruction instead of another. And normally it is called branching or another name for this action is called bifurcation. Uh, normally, as you will see, is that selection concerns a scenario whereby, based on a certain situation, then one instruction will be selected instead of another. And the situation that we are saying is a certain condition. That condition is artificial, as you will see. In front of us, we have a simple calculator. Again, this calculator performs division. But it doesn't perform division wholesale. It performs the division under a certain condition. The artificial condition that we have set here is that we want division such that the numerator is always bigger than the denominator, such that the answer will be at least having a certain one whole number, even if it is followed by decimal, but the answer will definitely not be zero. Or it may not be zero point anything. It is, it may be two, maybe 2.2. 4.5 or whatever. But for now, because we have only integer types, then the answer will be a whole number which will, be, which will not be less than one. So, as you see, uh, we have our program here, and the program is a work example of a calculator to perform division. But along with this work example, we have our RAM diagrams, on the right hand side, which shows what is happening in the machine. So if we come to line number one, and line number two, and line number 11, we say these are standard lines, which are in any C++ program. We must remember them. Now, the discussion starts at line number three, where we have int A, B, and C, declaration of variables or labeling of the memory, or reservation of spaces. It's just the same thing. If you look to the RAM diagram, you can see now, in the beginning, before the run of the program, we have an empty RAM. The computer memory is just free, waiting for us to reserve part of it so that we can enter data. As it goes to int A, B, and C, then we have reserved some rooms from the empty RAM, whereby one we decided to be called A, another we labeled it, we, we labeled it as B, and another we labeled it as C, and these particular rooms are now reserved. They are waiting for us to put data in. Now, when you come to line number four, scene A, scene B, then you are at a point of entering data into the computer RAM. Now, suppose in this particular moment, we decide to enter data. The data that we have entered in A is 10, and what we entered in B is 5. You will find that when the computer comes to line number 5, it will see if A greater than B, that is bifurcation or selection decision, then line number 6 will be executed. But if A is less than B, then line number six will be skipped, and then line number, line number eight will be executed. Then, and if line number six is executed, then the result is division of what is in A to what is in B, and the result will go in C. If I come now to the RAM diagram, if in A there is 10, and in B there is five, then A, definitely is greater than B. And for that matter, the operation will be C equal to A over B, 10 over 5. The result will be 2, and 2 will be thrown into C, as you can see here in the hypothetical example. If, for example, in A, the number which is in A is smaller than the number which is in B, then it is C will get result of B divided by A. But in this case, 
with the data that you see in front of your screen, it is 10 to be divided by 5, and the answer will be 2, which will be uh, stored in room C. That is as far as uh, the program itself is, and as far as RAM diagrams are concerned. Now, similarly, let us go and see how this program runs when we go to the compiler. If we go to the compiler, you are going to see that our program will be opened here. And this program which we have repa prepared is this one here. What you are seeing in front of your screen is the similar program that we are discussing, but now it is in the compiler. Lines are not numbered in compilers, but if I compile this program, it has got zero errors, as you can see on the screen. Now, if I run it, the screen comes where I have to enter data. Now, suppose I enter 45, that goes in A, and if I enter 5, which will go in B, the answer that I'm getting is 9. That is, 45 has been divided by 5, and I'm getting that answer. Yet, if I run it again, and I enter, let's say, 6, that is 6 in A, then I enter 12 in B, I am getting 2 because 12 was divided by 6, which was in A. That means now the branch that was taken was the second line after uh, 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 the else line and not the one which was following the if as we have seen in our slides. So for now, let me invite you in our physical model where we shall discuss this program vividly by mimicking the computer as we did it in the first program.